What is up, guys? We are back on the Randcast, which is my personal podcast that I'm running, and uh, this is the first episode of it. Now, since this is the first episode, I'm gonna have to come up with my own topic to talk about. And also in the comment section of every video or of every podcast that I make, I want you guys to tell me what the next topic should be so I can know what you guys want me to talk about. Just don't say like something inappropriate, okay? Alright, now, I already have an idea for a topic and it's, uh, my idea for a topic is simply... The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. That's my idea. Because The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. The original game, I, I love it. It's amazing. I, I think it's a good game. It's probably one of the best games I've ever played. Though I haven't been recording it, I will tell you guys something. It's a good game. And now time to talk about this. If you don't really like Tears of the Kingdom, by the way, you should probably click off this video. But if you watch, if you played Breath of the Wild or any of the Legend of Zelda games, you're gonna like this. Alright, now, spoiler warning, if you haven't beaten the game yet, this might be, you might not want to watch this. But, uh, let's get started, I guess. So... Anyone who's played Tears of the Kingdom knows, like, about how the, like, knows about the auto-build ability. And how you can build, like, this insane build in seconds. Well, I still think it's cool and all, but, you know, it's so hard to find auto-build without looking up where it is. I didn't even get it before I beat Tears of the Kingdom. Cause it was so hard to find for those who haven't found it yet though it's just uh it's in the great plateau depths i won't tell you where it is i'll just tell you that and also the floating coliseum there wait what what did i say i don't know what i said all right uh so yeah it's some stuff for people that don't know should know probably and also here's a giant tip for people when you have like a metal shield or something a decently durable shield take a uh, bomb flower or a time bomb zone device and fuse it onto your shield and then shield surf it doesn't kill you or anything but it deals some damage to your shield but in return you get a bounce up into the air and you can activate bullet time so uh yeah it's kind of cool and uh, here's another uh fact about to the kingdom if you actually try to uh if you're in the end of the game spoiler warning and you're about to catch Zelda right before she falls onto land. If you don't try to catch Zelda, then she'll just stick in place and you can move around. But you can't like walk around because that wouldn't make any sense. You can kind of just fly around except for there's like a boundary. So yeah, that kind of sucks. It'd be cool if there was like an Easter egg or something though. Oh, wait, give me a second. I gotta drink water. <laughs> and, uh, now for our next fact. Uh, or this one isn't really a fact it's more of like a tip and actually yeah this one's a fact 
So, for the people who don't know, if you've gotten the Bogoan Sword, Fierce Didi Sword, or the Baldy Breaker, the Great Eagle Bow, I'm pretty sure you can actually buy them after. Well, I'm not sure about the Great Eagle Bow and Boulder Breaker, but you can buy them back from those uh, bargainer statues for a uh, pose. And if you're wondering how much it costs, it costs like 300 pose or 150. I'm not sure, I don't know. Probably 300. So, yeah. Alright, now about our next fact. Now, this one's about the two other abilities. And the next one's gonna be about another ability that should have been in the game. So, uh, you guys know about Recall and Ascend. Kind of the worst abilities that most people say. Most people say they're the worst. In some cases they are, but they're actually much more useful than you might think. Ascend can be used to... Or it can be combined with recall to get up to higher places. If there isn't like a cave or, or something in the mountain that you can ascend upwards to get to the top of somewhere. And recall, you can use it to kind of like fly or get like some extra height if you're trying to go somewhere. You can use ultra hand to grab like a log or something. Take it off the ground and then put it in the air. Then what's or actually what you're supposed to do, put it in the air and then take it out of the air and then put it in the air again and then use recall on it jump on it while it's on the ground and then when it puts you back up in the air you get some extra height it's not that useful but it works all right now to talk about another glitch or not glitch but ability that should have replaced the map ability Descend. Now it sounds kind of weird. Like, who would want a descend ability? But, I mean, bro. Tell me how many times you've needed a descend ability. I bet most people at least have needed that once. A descend ability. I mean, bro, it, it could have been the game changer of tears that came bro like bruh it could have been legit a game changer it wouldn't be as useful as ascend but it would be at least kind of useful right. i think we're done with all the facts for now by the way so uh I think we're actually done with the video because I gotta get to doing something. Oh, and by the way, guys, stay tuned for possibly some IRL filmed content. Now, obviously, I'm not gonna show my face in it. I'm not gonna show anybody's face, actually. <laughs> They're just gonna be filmed in my room, probably. And I don't know. We'll see what happens. And I'll see you guys later in the next one. Bye.